All right, welcome back to the second part of the 100% stealth challenge. Oh, they made it nice and easy for me here. You just walk right up and grab them. Let's hope your buddies like you. Sometimes I use a sticky cam to lure that guy out, but in that case, I just didn't need to. So in this room, take your time. Don't get too hasty, um, and avoid to or avoid the the temptation to take people out in the well. I guess it would be the back left, or back right corner from where you were standing just there, because often someone else will come up the stairs, see the body, and causes great panic. So try to keep your kills down to this side more so if you can in the shadows. Lights out, asshole. Yeah, life's good here. Yeah, these guys just made it too easy on me for this portion of the level. Keep quiet, and I promise I won't hurt you. When the guard's standing in the shadows here, you can easily take him out with a death from above, but just be careful if he's too much in the light, you probably get seen. So we have the central structure here. I like to use this a lot if I can, but really can't see up there. This is a good place to do some uh, surveillance. Check out who's around where. So the name of the game here, do not just drop down and do death from above from there on people. There's often other people standing around by that gazebo. So take them out when they're out of the light. Take them out when they're alone. That's, nothing's really changed there. Fortunately, there's lots of shadows Surprise. in this area. Like to pull the bodies off into the corner here. Uh, make what I'd like to call a corpse dump. We'll Asshole. get to see that in the next yeah. area even more. So don't get too carried away in this area. If you take out, um, like do even a death hold grab on this guy when that other guy is too close to you, he's going to see you and he's going to start shooting. He was behind the boxes, so that was perfect. Uh, for the record, Surprise where that guy asshole. was standing, if I would have tried to take him out, the other two fellows inside the building would have seen me and it would have been game over. So that's why I use my EMP. Now this area is pretty nice. After you hit an EMP, much like Area 1, they start yelling and screaming and uh, pouring out to look for you. But there's lots of good areas to hide where you're above the ground, and they typically never see you there. Nothing to report here. Keep moving. Looks clear. Let's move to the next zone. Oh, God! Yeah, I went and threw down a sticky cam there to try to draw him out, but he went and saw the body anyway, so it made it all too easy for me. 
Well, the one guy left. He's panicking a bit. Come on out. Don't bother trying to hide. I know you're here. Christ! Let's take a walk. Alright, well, that completes all the easiest areas in St. Petersburg. Now let's move on to Area 4, being the hardest area in St. Petersburg for hand-to-hand -hand takedowns. Uh, as we come up to this door here, use your sonar goggles. If you don't, you'll probably be walking into a room with a bunch of guys looking right at you and it'll be game over. So he's still looking right at me. So I'm not coming out until he marches back and turns his back to me. For the record, sometimes this same guy will be standing in front of the door. If you open the leftmost door while you're crouched against the wall, he won't notice you and you can do a hand-to-hand -hand takedown right on him. You have to be careful of taking out this guy when he walks over and puts his back to you. Well, sometimes there's another fella down the hallway looking right at you. I found that out the hard way. Everyone stay focused. Let's hope your buddies like you. Well, today we lucked out. There was no one there. Alright, this is the end of video 2 of 4. Stay tuned for the next two videos by clicking on the link.